Three British men were accused of possessing synthetic cannabis while on holiday last July. The men who were all from London are claiming they were tortured by police after being arrested. They're facing death by firing squad. But all that madness is yet to come. My whole life I've dreamed of being a musician. I, I worked for Newham Council being a plumber and then at night times I've been emceeing in like three different clubs in one night. And then life played me a blind. A beautiful but unexpected baby girl. Biggest blessing you can ever have in this world is to give life. But I needed a break. Do you know what, boys? Come, we're going to Dubai. Like, just had a baby. We need to go and wet the baby's head. Because in a minute, I'm about to be lock off. So let's go and get twisted. My missus wasn't mad about the idea, but I'd promised I'd only be gone for five days. So I knew I had to make every second count. I learned pretty early on that there's the Dubai they want you to see. And then there's the Dubai that you only see if you look in between the grains of sand. And it was just like, <sighs> yeah, good fun. Life could not have been sweeter. ففي بعض الناس من الفكر اللي متخذ عن دبي وإن هي قد إيه مدينة مفتوحة وقد إيه مدينة الأضواء ومدينة الأسياء مخلية في ناس كتير تعتقد خطأ بإن كل شيء في دبي مسموح. I remember when we was out raving, bumped into this guy called Hamza. Like he told me he worked as a cop. He was like, bro, make sure you be careful out here. So stay away from weed, stay away from this, that, that. If anyone offers you drugs, say no, because they're probably just trying to set you up. He was with this guy called, you know, for the sake of the documentary, we'll call it Maz. And Maz was one of those sort of characters, like, he could just get you anything. He was a typical, like, Dubai hustler. Do you know what I mean? He said to me, he's like, if you want cars, entrances to clubs. And we're like, yeah, like, we need a car, innit? Because we had no car. So that's when the guy was like, look, come down tomorrow, pick out a car, make sure you get a good deal on it. We're just thinking, do you know what, we've caught a touch here. Do you know what I mean? We'll go through these geezers to get the car, as anyone else would do. Obviously, we're all gassed up. What are we yeah. saying, yeah. bro? <laughs> yeah. Now everyone's just kind of piled in. That was like the first moment when, okay, okay, okay. when we actually realised there's an extra bag in the car. Pulled it out and we just see all of these like silver glossy packages. I remember looking at one of the package and it just said like atomic, like legal in the UK. And I was like, Maz, like, I'm like, brother, like, what's going on here? I found this bag in the car. Uh, what's it? Let me take a picture for you. I'm no stranger to drugs, do you know what I mean? And obviously, if it had smelled like weed, I'd have been like, what's going on here? Do you know what I mean? But it was none of that. He's like, don't mind, mate, it's local tobacco, which they sell at the souk, because the souk's like the marketplace. It was like, oh, yeah, mate, must have been from the last people. Just leave it in the car, like, you know, boom, when you bring the car back, we'll take it. And we were just like, all right, cool, sweet. Listen, we're for holiday. Enjoy it. I'm here. So here we go. That's what I'm saying, mate. <laughs> Let's go. Driving around all the little streets and that, near all the hotels, there's just birds everywhere. Up and down, like, Shakeside Road, through Jamira Beach. Like, it was beautiful, really, really, really beautiful. I mean, we were just happy as anything, you know? And then all of a sudden... Boss, I need to need Durham. For what? Gas money. And he's saying to me, my car's run out of petrol. So I've given the guy 20 dirhams. And I remember saying to Grant, mate, don't you think it was weird that that car pulled up and asked us for, for money for petrol? But he's like, mate, we're in Dubai. There's no broke people in Dubai. And all of a sudden, like, if you could imagine a scene out of an action film and everything's like, boom, 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 Gun to my left, I was like, whoa, I was dragged out of the car. Slapped around the face, bam, gun butted on the chest. Quick as anything, it was like all my adrenaline, like 
everything was just running through my body and I just remember thinking, whoa. I actually thought we was being like carjacked or something like that. And all I heard was like, where's the drugs? Where's the drugs? Where's the drugs? They'd open the boot. They're like rummaging around, nothing. And then he's gone, ah, drugs. Now you're in trouble. I'm like, but for what? So do you think Maz was an informant who set you up? Brother, I could so easily sit here and say, yeah, do you know what? I think I was fitted up by that guy. I think it was that guy, but I don't know who done it. Kilo min mukhaddir. I think that this is a story that to be يعني من وحي خياله بس القصة نفسها اللي هو بيقولها قصة مش منطقية قصة مت مت يعني ما تصدقش العقل We find the drugs in your car Look at me brother You know please man Buckle up This is one mad ride Spice We found it in the car Like what? You're now going to prison Big man prison oh! 